Jim Walker. I've had the pleasure of serving on the school board for you for five years now. Um, I serve on the policy committee, the buildings and ground committee, and the negotiations committee. Um, this, every board member brings something unique uh, to the board, skill set and uh, opinion wise. My uh, focus has been on the uh, business side, the legal side, and the uh, human relations side. Um, in the last year or so, I took on the role of being lead negotiator for our unions, uh, dealing with our teacher and our support staff unions, saving us $15,000 in legal fees. Um, and those are going to line extremely well. We hope to have those settled in the very near future. Um, when our district administrator failed to submit DPI reports on time, which had put us at risk for sanctions and a loss of about a half million dollars to the school, um, I stepped in, uh, filled out all the DPI reports, got them in in 12 hours notice, and avoided all those sanctions and any repercussions from that. Then proceeded to uh, work with the board to hold our district administrator accountable for that lack of uh, uh, getting that kind of task done. Um, I always respond back to all the uh, people that uh, call and have issues that they want to deal with directly with the board or, or want to uh, talk directly to uh, me with. Um, we had a, uh, an older couple that came to a board meeting in January. Their taxes were jumped unreasonably high, and nobody was giving them a straight answer as to why. Everybody was pointing it at the school saying it's all the school's fault. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't talk to them that night. I called them back the next day and spent 45 minutes on the phone with them, only to find out that their taxes were went up because their assessed value of their home went up dramatically. But they weren't being told that kind of answer. People need to know why things are happening. People want to know what's going on. And I strive to tell everybody as much as we can what's going on in the school to keep them informed. Um, this year we got very lucky and we were able to hire an excellent uh, new district administrator who's going to start July 1, John Gendron. We're looking to point him in the direction of making the school as efficient as possible and making our people as efficient as possible and restoring that family values, that family community that we had that got lost over the last few administrations. Um, right now, we uh, have some our challenging financial times. With the cut in state aid, we put a lot of things on hold. We put all capital improvements on hold. Um, we put a lot of things on hold. Now we're going to have to go back and take a look at a few select projects to fix them. Prime example is our uh, boiler system. The boiler for our kindergarten through second grade has gone out three times during the winter this year. And it's cost us over $17,000 just to repair it to keep it going. That's not acceptable. We will put out for bid. We're looking at trying to get the two new high efficiency boilers we have, run piping so we can pipe it to the old school and keep the building with what we currently have with the least amount of cost. It's going to cost us a little money, but it's costing us a lot of money to keep it, you know, the building heated as it is now, and we've got to keep heat in those rooms. So that's my focus for next year, to help our administration to uh, point the direction of improving the efficiency of the school. Um, that's about it. Thank you very much.